Okay, well, another little milestone in our trip. We've made it to the Yukon officially. And if you look up there, there it is. There's our sticker. Off Grid Adventures has made it. Officially in the Yukon, it's awesome. What do you think, Sophie? Pretty good? Okay, well, it's official. We are in Watson Lake and we are at the famous Signpost Forest. Watson Lake, Yukon, the world's famous Signpost Forest. So, let's take a quick walk through here. I'm not really dressed properly for this because it's minus 20, but uh, we're gonna find, we'll find a place and we'll put our sticker on it. We'll see what we can do here. Let's take a walk through here quickly and find a place to put our sticker. Lake Ontario. Wow, lots of places. All right, let's put our sticker right up there. Okay, well, it's official. We put our sticker up and this is pretty crazy. <clears throat> pretty amazing. Okay, well, we're gonna get out of here. It's a balmy minus 20, and I'm dressed for driving, not for walking around, but this is pretty cool. <clears throat> it's official, we're in the Yukon, and we put our sticker on the post. So what more could you ask for? So we're gonna stop, grab a bite to eat, and we're probably gonna keep going into Whitehorse today. So <clears throat> it'll be mostly of a night drive, so let's go get some food and hit the road. Good morning. So last night we stayed in Whitehorse. Uh, this morning we dropped over to the rec center, had a hot tub, shower, and now we're on the road to Dawson City. We're gonna go pan it for gold. Probably won't do much of that at minus, it's currently minus 33. But there's a place famous for their um, cinnamon buns here and we just stopped and have one. Have a look at this. Look at the size of this. Sophie, say good morning. Just in reference, there's my hand. <laughs> I think that should keep us going for a couple days. And uh, a little bit of sugar is not going to hurt for the ride. Uh, it's, it's a six hour drive and we're about um, an hour and a half in. So we will see you when we hit Dawson. Okay, well, we're taking a break. And uh, there's a nice viewpoint here. Yukon River. And this is... This is it. Swift water, narrow channels. Okay, well, we made it to Dawson. And the first place I wanted to check out was where they cross. The, uh, the Yukon River with the ferries and stuff and there is no ice road it is wide open as you can see up there the sign says ice bridge closed there's one of the ferries and there it is as you can see the river is open it's flowing and there's the other road where they cross and then they head up there 
head up that way to do all the mining, a lot of it. So, pretty crazy. James B. Oh, you see that boat over there? It's called the James B. That's um, that's Tony Beats's uh, boat that he built. The James B. The big uh, <coughs> big gold rush guy on uh, TV, Tony Beats. That's that's his boat, the James B. All right, well, we're gonna head downtown, find our room, get settled in, and then maybe uh, we'll do a little exploring around Dawson. Maybe we'll find a little gold. Okay, so I want to get you a little closer to this boat, and I'll explain a little bit to you if you don't know. So they built that boat to go up and down the river to bring all his dredge. He bought two dredges, and that's he used he used this boat to go up and down and uh, bring all the pieces back to where he was uh, setting them up. So, but they had a lot of problems with this boat. So I'll just show you that, and uh, I know a little bit about it. I watched that show, so it's kind of cool to see it up up close. So we're at the Dawson City Museum. They've agreed to let me go through, even though they're not open today. But I'm very grateful for that. So let's go in and check this out. Okay, well we're inside, and uh, we're gonna start walking around. So check out some of this stuff. Okay, so in this part of the museum, this is more of the earlier um, gold rush items. So let's check this out, it's pretty cool. There's an RCMP uniform. Saws. The Caribbean knife improved huh. scales. Old fashioned scales. to the Klondike. Quite the piano. Here we go. Oh, the, the furs, quite the boots. Furs, the old pans, shovels. screening.
dredge. Dredge mining. Kind of like an old homemade uh, backhoe bucket. So this, this is how they melted the, uh, the gold into little bars. Magnet to take the metals out. There's just so much stuff in here to uh, look at. It's hard to really describe it and try to keep my voice down. So, but uh, look at some of these boots and furs. Okay, well, we got a Wally Mammoth here, and that's a big one. Okay, well this is where we stayed last night. It's, uh, as you can see up there, downtown hotel, the, Lon the Jack London Grill and gift shop. And that my friends is where you go in and drink the whiskey and touch the toe and get a certificate. Okay, so we're in the hotel downtown. I'm here with Amandeep, right? Yeah. I pronounced it right. So where you go and drink the whiskey and drink and touch the toe is closed, but she's kind enough to let us in and show us around. So that is awesome. So let's go and have a look around. So, so this is it. So this is the famous tavern and sorry it's a little dark we'll head up here where it's not but kind of get the gift pool tables all the stuff in the wall <clears throat> and I think that's the table where all the magic happens where you do the, the, the shot with the toe let's have a look at the bar On back. Okay, so this is it. It's pretty cool. There's the bell. Captain Dick Stevenson. You can see his hat. And there he is. There's a picture. And there's the missing toe. And that would be the certificate. And that's a big fish. Okay, well. We're going to hit the road, but this is pretty awesome for them to let us in here, even though it's closed. Um, very grateful. So, all right, well, it's time to hit the road. And one last look around. <clears throat> pretty cool stuff. Okay, well, I don't want to overstay my welcome, so we're gonna head out and uh, say thank you because I greatly appreciate it. Okay, well, we'll no. see you on the road. What time is it? Yeah, quarter to nine. It's just getting daylight, so we're gonna hit the road. And uh, yeah, it's been an awesome visit. So we're gonna head for Yellowknife. I uh, probably won't uh, do much video on the way down. It's a six hour drive. So I'm just trying to turn around so I can get some better light here, but still dark anyway sophie's in the truck and i'd like to say thank you to this town absolutely wonderful people here they, like everything's closed and they don't mind opening it up for you and let you go through how awesome is that and you can see sophie just sitting in the truck let's go dad so you can see that there's sophie okay well the truck's warm truck's warmed up and we're ready to roll. 
so we'll see you on the road.